Okay, this is step two of creating our portfolio. When I left this, we only had three lines of code. Basically, we set each movie clip to stop. I'm adding a variable, which I call frame number, and I'm setting it equal to one, because when we begin, we're on frame number one. I've added a button mode equals true statement to both the left and the right uh, movie clips. You can have movie clips act as buttons. This will make the pointer change to the pointing hand, and they are clickable. Now they're clickable, and you can react to them even if you don't set button mode to true, but then people won't know that they can click on them. Let me show you what it does. If I hover over either of those, I get the pointing hand. I have not done that to the center, but this indicates to any user that those are clickable. Then I'm only doing the right functions. You're going to have to do the left. I have added a, an event listener to the right movie clip, clip, and it calls the right function. If I go to the right, it's going to have set frame number plus equal to one. So that's going to add one to whatever the frame number is. All of them will move forward one number. Let's test this. So left hasn't been programmed, but right, you can see each time I click on this image, it's going to become the center image next. But here I've run out of images. What I need to do is I need to reset it using an if statement. We haven't used if statements yet, so let's do that now. We're going to check and see what the frame number is. if. And here we have to check in parentheses frame number equals six because we want it to go to five. We'll say that frame number equals one. Now it's important to note first if you have more than one line you would have needed to enclose it and enclose this in curly brackets. Secondly, the double equals is a comparison operator. We're checking to see if whatever number is stored in our frame number variable is equal to six. If that's the case, it's going to reset to one. We'll try it again. So we're currently on frame number one. When I click it, we'll go to frame number two, frame number three, frame number four, frame number five, and back to frame number one. This is a pretty simple exercise this week. You need to finish it. You need to have the left side work as well as the right side. And you need to have 10 images. That's what you need to get done for this week. And the major objectives is you're learning to work with the if statement. You are doing some simple addition and subtraction in here. You'll have to do subtraction on the left-hand side. And we've learned to use movie clips as buttons.